Hi everyone, so we're going to make a quick video today about adding a blog or even just like a, a news article section to your website. It can be to show any kind of information, anything you want really. So it's going to look like something like this today and I'll go into it now. So first thing you need to do is obviously go into the dashboard of your WordPress website and then on the left hand side WordPress automatically comes with a blogging platform built in so we can just add to that. So where you see here on the left hand side where it says posts, this is going to be your news or blog section basically. I've already added two, so new blog slash news post. Let's add a, another one. So we go add new. Make this one number three. In these other posts I have made just some text here. So I'll copy that and put that in here. And then a wee bit like creating the competitions, you're going to add a picture to it as well. So we'll go down and say set featured image. And then, so we'll say we'll use the laptop one this time. Very good. So if you do want to change any of the SEO parts of this, on the left hand side where it says SEO, you can easily go in and change the slug, the, the title here, just overwrite this. This will come directly from the title in the post. So that is fine, but it's there for you to change if uh, if you need to. So after we've added basically what we want to say, you can add media and pictures and all the rest of it in here. Um, we can cl click on publish. So if we go ahead and go back to the site, well, first of all, we're going to actually need to make this page, which is the news page. So where it says pages, click on add new, and then just in here, click news or news or blog. I would say choose one of these just so it's, you know, short, that kind of thing. I've already made one here. If I go down to news. Now there's a few sections you're going to want to add in here. So that's going to be a title. So what you want to do is click on the plus button, click on text block and type in uh, you know whatever your company name is the news let's just say so DIY raffle news highlight that on the drop down hit heading one that'll make it big click save and next you want to click on the section below where it's at the wee smaller plus this will add something just below that I'll actually get rid of this for now uh, and what you want to do is go to grid so you want to show the posts, so that's great. Order of creation, that's fine. So it means the most recent one's going to be at the top. Uh, items quantity is 10, that's fine. So if there's no items to show, that's if you don't have any news items, uh, this message will be fine, so our will be shown. So no news results, fine. Next, we're going to say, what, what kind of appearance do you want? do we want to show? And there's a full list here of different blog templates. I think the best one is the side float image left. So we'll click on it. The regular grid is fine. The columns, we're gonna go for one. So one column with a picture, description, that kind of thing on the right hand side. And that's pretty much it. We don't have to change anything else. We can click on publish, but mine's already done. So we click on update. Now, if we go to the news page, we'll see what that looks like. So you get the, the image or the featured image on the left hand side. This is the blog that we just created. The title and an excerpt. So whatever text you put in, it'll maybe show the first 100, 150 characters and then do these like three dots. As you go down, you'll be able to see the other blog posts you've created and it'll just stack on top of each other, just like news would. So if you do click into these, you'll find out that it's just the text that's, that gets shown. So what we're gonna to need to do is create a content template. And that's very simple. We'll go over to the get find area and go content templates. Click on add content template. So we put in news here. And then click on back end editor. We'll click on add element. And then at the top right where it says post elements, click on there. First, we're going to want to add the post title. So it's the very top, it just says what the title of the post is. Change that to H1. Click on Save Changes. 
Now, underneath the post title, I like to have a couple of wee small things in line. So it's like a horizontal set your who, who wrote the post, so the, the author of the post. Maybe it's the date the, the post was made, that kind of thing. So we'll add those two things together. But I don't want them up, at, you know, above and below each other. I want them like beside. So we'll go for a horizontal wrapper first. So we'll click save changes. We don't need to edit any of that. Then inside these three dots, you'll see another plus button. We'll click on there. Go to post elements. I think the first thing I want to do is put the post date in. So that's going to be the day that you create that post. And then underneath that, we're going to click on the um, plus button again. Go back to post elements and I'm going to go for the author, post author. So that's fine. And then underneath that, so not within the um, horizontal wrapper, we're going to append to this column. So back to post elements, click on post content. And then where it says excerpt, we're actually going to go for full content and click save changes. Now, if we save this, that's fine. One thing we do need to now do is go to theme options. So I'm going to open this in a new tab. Go to the pages layout. And we're underneath posts here, you'll see content template. We're going to change this to news content template that we just created. Click on save. Now we'll see what that looks like if we refresh this. So this looks, looks fine. Got the the blog post title here, we've got the wrapper, but there's maybe not enough space between the date and the author and the content. So what we're gonna do is go back to the content template, click on the plus button again, and click on separator. I like to show a horizontal line just to give that kind of break in the page. So medium or large, I think I'll go for large. And then you can just drag this between the horizontal wrapper and the post content. Now if I update that, refresh this page, you'll see there's a now a, a definitive break in that page. Now you can add things below if you, if you wish, but what I'm gonna do is actually create another separator just below the content and then click the plus button again and put in the, where is it? Post, previous and next navigation. So that means that you'll be able to go to the next post directly after this. So simple links, I think that'll be fine. On side of the screen, we'll, we'll see what the difference is. We'll click on update, give this a refresh. So you can see previous blog post. that looks pretty good. And then if there's one before and after, it comes up on both sides. So I'm actually pretty happy with that. I think the left and right versions are the on sides of screen versions aren't the best. Although it's been a while since I've seen it. Yeah, so you wouldn't really know. It looks pretty good to be fair, but you wouldn't really know how to, if that was really the, you know, it's not apparent of what that actually does, if you know what I mean. Um, if you're just sitting there, but if they're at the very bottom, I think it's a lot more user friendly. So I'm going to go back, simple links, update. This is another refresh. And I think it's a very simple blog post, especially if you just want to tell your customers, you know, the news for that week or what's upcoming. What's, you know, if people want to stay um, in tune with your business and that kind of thing, maybe they're not on social media, great place for it. So one last thing, we're going to add this to the menu at the very top. Go back to the dashboard. You can actually get into it from there, but appearance, menus, most recent page that we've created is in the news. So I'm going to leave that right at the end, or actually just after winners. Usually it's the my account and login is right at the end. Save menu. Um, Back to visit site, you'll see news is now there. DIY, DIY raffle news, and then all the blog content. So it's simple as that, play around with it. You know, that page builder's there to use, you really can't break anything. So I would say save, enjoy yourself, and try and see what you can come up with. All right, cheers.